Hi, it's Alice from eKit Hub, and I just Yusuf and I have been getting a lot of requests to have, perhaps have some videos on how to edit uh, some of our content, edit and customize it. And since Yusuf is busy managing the business finances, I got voted to do this video. And I wanted to give you a little disclaimer and perhaps you know some business insight at the same time through this disclaimer in that I am not a PowerPoint expert we hire people to create our documents and our images and things like that but I know my way around I can change you know things I can add things I can I can do I can I can manage and when you're starting out I think that it's important that you don't worry too much about you know changing everything just start getting these offers out. How you sell it is often more important than what it is. Like, you know, say you have this journal and you have other, you know, card deck or something. Like you're putting together a nice offer that helps someone call, cultivate gratitude in their life. The, all the little details of the thing is, it is important, but it's also not in order to understand what customers really want. And as you understand what customers want and what they're willing to pay money for, you're going to have the money because you're going to know how to sell stuff, but you'll be able to hire people to do more advanced edits, get really complex with this stuff if you want to. Uh, if you want to spend your time learning it, you can take PowerPoint classes. But honestly, I think software as an entrepreneur, as a you know budding business owner, is the last of your worries. Like, Don't get bogged down in those details. Hire out or just leave it as is and create a good offer for your customers. So let's get into this. This is a 72 page journal, uh, not including the cover. So there's 73 slides in here in PowerPoint. I use a Mac, but I assume that most things will be fairly similar. You'll find them in similar places on yours, or you might just have to hunt a little. The tell, the tell me or help often will help you find exactly, like if you can't find a certain feature, you just type in you know, insert shape, it, it takes you right to where you want to go. See, like you don't, it's like amazing software now these days, right? It just walks you through everything. Um, it opens up that feature for you. So the first page is the cover and I'm going to cover the covers <laughs> separately in a different video. But just as a quick overview is this is an image and it's created through a PowerPoint because we wanted to keep it consistent. We're using, we're giving you PowerPoint journals, so we're also include, include making the cover in PowerPoint. So we'll talk about that later. Let's look at the rest of the journal. It's basically a page with writing prompts um, and a prompt, uh, pardon me, an affirmation at the top. So you can, you know, this is easy enough. You can change fonts. You can do whatever you want. You can delete some of the affirmations if you don't like them you can add more pages with affirmations whatever you want to do these are all basically little components that you are able to edit um, and, the, and then it alternates between a blank page you know for free writing as well so if you don't like those you can take those out you could do more of these ones you can also you know change these prompts very easily um, I would recommend then if you want to change the prompts to be different on each page just make yourself a template and then just duplicate it over and over again how you duplicate a slide is go I go to the slide and I go it's probably another way to do it too I uh, click control which on a PC maybe right click on your mouse um, and go duplicate slide so then you can just have the same thing if you want to move them down you can move them down I'm not an expert with my mouse here <laughs> so I'll just leave that there also these are little shapes that you can make so if you prefer a different shape make a different shape I'll give you a quick overview of shapes and it's here insert shape and this happens to be I'll just show you how this one's made is a rectangle so I'm just gonna go over this this is obviously not going to look <laughs> how you would want to it look it's a rectangle on top of text but I just wanted to show you in case you don't know this so the shape fill is no fill uh, so then you have the blank then you're able to put text and lines in it um, you can change the outline color to whatever you want so that's this part you can also do the weight change the weight 
Um, you can make it dashed, for example, if you prefer. You can change all of these things that you'd like. And again, if you're planning to change it in the document, I believe the only way to do that is to, you know, make yourself a template and then, then redo, then duplicate the pages. Okay, let's talk about editing the background. So, it's under Format, Slide Background. This is an image. So you have the opportunity, you could make it a bit darker. That's probably way too, it's very pretty, but it's way too dark for the, uh, <laughs> the slide. The best way also to sit and like, to figure out how things work is just play with, play with the software, right? So look at what every little thing does. to figure out how you can do this. So you probably want it quite transparent, especially if your people are printing it out. They, and you know, you may even want to have it blank in the back because if people don't want to, you know, waste, it looks pretty, but if it has a lot of, uh, you know, it's going to use up a lot of ink, they might not like that. So you could, one thing you could do is offer a version without the background and a version, if they're printing themselves, give them both and then they can print out whichever one they want to do, right? This is how you move things left to create kind of like a white border. You could write, like you could go, I'm not doing it in a pretty way here, obviously, because you want to make it so it covers the, there. And then let's see what we do for from the bottom and top, pardon me that you probably don't want there or maybe you want the date up top but it's just an example right I'm not I'm not a designer so I'm not giving you the full suggestions on how to make it look just showing you things you could play with so you can do stuff like that you could use a pattern fill instead gradient fill so that there's like gradient on what there is sort of like this you know, just mess around or you can just change it. You can change it completely. You can do an, a different image if you prefer. Put a different image in and then make it transparent. So if you happen to have a graphic um, that you want to add into there, you can. So, I mean, I, I'm not really sure what else you guys might want to know other than you can change these shapes. You can add different. These are just lines that we've created. It's a whole thing that you can move around, you can edit, you can remove lines if you would like to change something. Maybe you want to have more prompts or you want to have two sections on this, uh, whatever you would like to do. So many little things that you can do. But again, don't worry too much about it. I think the important thing, like, I mean, it's a nice looking journal. You can create a new look. You can create a new cover. So you might want a different background. You might want to add more pages. You might want to change these prompts to be more specific to each affirmation if you want. If you want to give your customer an even better journal journaling experience, totally up to you. But, you know, it's, uh, those are the basics. Um, if there's specific things you want to know how to change, uh, let us know and then we can do that in another video. Uh, also, again, I'll, do, I'll cover the covers in the next video. Take care and talk to you soon. Come on by the eKit Hub Facebook group. That's a great way to get, get help with specific issues that you might be having. Um, always happy to help.